KTVU Fox 2 News on KTVU Plus. Good evening, everyone. I'm Mike Meebeck. And I'm Christina Rendon. Oakland Police Chief Lauren Armstrong not staying quiet after being put on paid leave. He spoke out again today, this time from an East Oakland church. As KTVU crime reporter Henry Lee explains, the top cop says the independent monitor in charge of overseeing the department reforms used faulty logic to help push him to the sidelines. This is an injustice. Mm -hmm. This is not fair. Speaking Sunday from Axeful Gospel Church, Oakland Police Chief Laron Armstrong, who's on paid leave, says he was wrongly sidelined because of allegations, he says, that are flat out wrong. Confidential report and information provided by the monitor is embarrassing. It's inaccurate. It contradicts itself about the role that I played in this case. The chief is blaming this man, Independent Monitor Robert Warshaw, who's overseeing department reforms. The report blatantly misstates and mischaracterizes key statements during my recorded interview. The monitor does not discuss his work. Mayor Sheng Tao, who placed the chief on leave, has said it's not a punitive action. Sources say Sergeant Michael Chung is accused of covering up the fact that he hit a Mercedes with a department-issued Chevy Tahoe in a San Francisco parking garage. The crash caused $14,000 in damage. Sources say then Internal Affairs Captain Wilson Lau allegedly ordered a subordinate to downplay what Chung had done. But the chief says he was given an incomplete set of facts. In this case, that information was not brought to me, so I was not able to take the proper action. That same sergeant is also accused of later firing his gun inside a service elevator at Oakland Police Headquarters and then throwing the shell casing from the Bay Bridge. The chief says the monitor yanked the probe of that case away from the department. Supporters say the chief needs to be reinstated. We don't want to see his career tarnished. Uh, he does not deserve the treatment that he is receiving in this particular case. It's just like a kindergarten teacher that goes on leave. And after they go on leave, a sick leave or whatever, the class just acts up until that teacher gets back. Oakland is acting up. What's troubling is a succession of police chiefs have come and gone, and yet it just seems like an impossible job. Chuck Wexler heads a police research organization. What will it take to be police chief there? It just seems like the bar keeps getting uh, pulled higher and higher. So the chief's on leave, the sergeant accused of the two incidents is on leave, and that former Oakland internal affairs captain, he's now with the East Bay Regional Park Police District, where he's also on leave. In Oakland, Henry Lee, KTVU, Fox 2 News.